Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be making a dress and it's perfect weather outside for making a dress because it's like 18 degrees and it's super sunny so I'm very excited to get this dress done and I'm going to try and make it in a day. Uh, I made the toile the other day and I actually did a mock-up dress as well in a different fabric. Um, so I will show you that. I am going to a friend's wedding next month and I kind of wanted to make a dress for it. Um, I may not end up wearing it, I may end up wearing something I've already got, but I think it was a good excuse to get my sewing skills back on track. So yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy the video um, and I will get on and show you my design. So this is the design I have for the dress. So it's quite a low cut, very vintage inspired dress. And this is the fabric that I have for it. I found this in a vintage shop a few weeks ago and I've just been wanting to make a really lovely lightweight summer's dress out of it. And it's like a cotton, very light cotton fabric. So yesterday I went to try and find a lining for it. Sadly, they didn't have any nude fabrics. Um, but I found this really gorgeous lightweight cotton. I don't usually line dresses, but because this is so see-through, I thought it kind of needed it. So I'm doing that. And yes, that is that. I'm excited to make this dress. This is one I made the other day in a different fabric. This one is a lot heavier um, in the fabric and it looks a little bit different to how this one will turn out. Um, I've also changed some of the bits in the back like I've got the facing now going in the back so this is just a test run really in a nice fabric and I'm going to wear this in the summer and it'll be so nice and cool because it's all cotton. Okay I need to get out my pattern. I also picked up a load of zips yesterday because you can't have too many zips. I think this fabric has a sort of finishing on it which is making it act a little bit more stiff than it actually is so when I wash it it will be a lot softer pieces that I'm going to sew first so I thought this would kind of help you guys out if you're into drafting patterns yourself um, to see the shapes that I'm using for the pattern so this is the back and I'm going to have the zip running down the back um, and I'm going to line the back with the white um, and I'm just going to stitch those together and sort of have it almost as like a fused piece and then this is going to be the front of the bodice which doesn't have any white attached to it yet because that's going to be separate. So then at the back over here this is my front facing here so that's all going to be attached and then this is going to be the back facing joined on at the shoulders and then that will mean that I can make a nice neat edge at the top of the back. Um, if I have a facing. And then I've got the sleeve over here which has some pleats so I've marked out where those need to go and I'll show you how I do those when I get to it. So yeah, now I need to go and stitch all of these together and then I will come back and show you what it's starting to look like.
onto the sleeve and I thought I'd let me grab the pattern. This is the shape of the pattern for the sleeve and I have some little pleats at the front. I don't know if you can see. So, so I've just got two little box pleats here which add volume in the rest of the sleeve. I was not going to line these but now I've decided to line them because the rest of the dress is lined so it would look a bit odd um, if I didn't line it. And so yeah I'm just going to put a white piece behind it and act like it's all one piece of fabric. So I have notches where the pleats start and then I put a pin in and put little dots in pencil where the notches should end. So there we go, I've now sewn the pleats into the sleeve so that will make it nice and fitted around the arm and now I need to go and add the gathering stitch around the top. Okay, I've finished sewing the pleats into the sleeve and I've done a gathered stitch at the top and I've ironed those flat. So now I can add the facing in for the sleeve and that's going to go at the bottom and I'm just going to stitch one line across and then we will open it up and sew the sleeve together down the side. So that is the plan. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and overlock that seam and also overlock the top seam of the facing so I can just fold it back and put a few little tacks in it at the top once it's been sewn at the side. Sides have been overlocked and turned through and now the facing needs to go inside the sleeve. So I'll just fold it in. might go and give it a quick press. I'm just going to do a few little stay stitches um, at the front and the back of the sleeves just to keep that facing in place. Nearly finished with the sleeves, they're looking nice and neat and now I just need to gather up the stitching around the shoulder and we can pop them inside the bodice. So there we have it, there's one sleeve ready to go into the dress. Okay, I've got the bodice here, which is finished and ready to have sleeves put in. I'm just gonna pin the sleeve into place. So I find the opening of the bodice and I hold the top shoulders together and then I just fold back the bodice so that the bodice is inside out and then I just pin all of that around the inside. Okay moving on to the skirt I have all the bits here so the first thing I'm going to do is just attach all of the side seams together so that I can then put all the long gathering stitches in. how much of the skirt part I managed to film because I think the battery died and I didn't realize um, but it's now sewn together 
and I've added the gathering stitches and it's basically ready to attach to the bodice. So that is what I'm going to do now. Put the bodice here and I'm just going to pin it into place and then sew it down. crazy sunlight <laughs> but the dress is nearly there I just have to put the zip in now we've got the skirt part attached and it's looking cute Just trying the dress on to check that it fits okay, which it does. It fits perfectly, nice and roomy, but not too roomy. <laughs> so yeah, I now need to go and work on the hem. I was probably gonna do a thick hem, but now I'm not sure. Um, might just do a rolled hem. So there we go, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the dress down below. And also I have found out that the dress is actually poly cotton and not cotton. So annoyingly it was advertised as cotton and it's not. So they definitely overcharged for this vintage fabric. So yes. Oh well, these things happen. Um, I did tell the woman that I thought it was poly cotton, but she was like, no, it's cotton. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.